no, no, no. You you haven't accidentally entered a wormhole and gone back eight or nine years in the past. Yes, this is actually a video of me in 2020 criticizing Skip Bayless for talking shit about LeBron James. I, I, I know, I know this, this is something you haven't seen me do in quite some time. But even I have to draw the line somewhere. The line has to be drawn. Okay? Am I critical of LeBron James? Hell yeah! You guys know that. I have more from being seen as a LeBron lover to somehow a diabolical LeBron hater. To those who hate LeBron, guts, according to them, I have seen the light in the era of LeBron James wins. But of course, I still think that LeBron James is a top 10 all-time player. You know what I'm saying? Um, I still think that Le at the end of the day, LeBron James will be in the discussion as far as top three. Uh, some people think GOAT. I mean, he'll have to really win a lot of championships at the end of his career, if, in my, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, when you lose six out of nine finals, it, it kind of hurts your legacy, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? As far as being in that discussion, as far as GOAT. But when you talk about overall statistical dominance, um, that should push him at least in that top three discussion. Okay, but this is my problem with Skip Bayless. The arguments that Skip Bayless used to make 10 years ago made some sense. It made some sense. Um, a king without a ring. What has he got to show for all of his greatness in the postseason? These things... You know, these arguments made sense back in 2009, 2010, especially as his career progressed because the expectations for LeBron James grew after 2006, 2007, when he got the first round, you know, started getting to the, then when he made that improbable run in 2007 with that Cleveland Cavaliers team. And I got to make a video about that team too um, because I get a little irritated at people who keep saying, LeBron James did it with a bunch of bums or a bunch of nobodies. You know what I'm saying? That 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 really disrespects who was actually on that team. All right, so I'll do a video about that later on. But but Skip, man, you you gotta you gotta move on from this, man. Like I, I can just hear Skip going, mm hmm, mm hmm. I know, I know, I know, Skip. I know you 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 you're not gonna be buzzed from your 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 stance, man. But now you're starting to become like a caricature of yourself, a caricature of a caricature of yourself. Because LeBron James, since 2009, has been the eight world title, world world championship matchups, and he's won three NBA championships. You know, so you have to give him that. And that was a stretch where arguably LeBron James was the best player in the game. Uh, he, he definitely was the most dominant player of the last 10 decades. Um, so your constant hate on him, it, it kind of makes you look, it's kind of making you irrelevant, man, honestly. You know, like I remember a time when people loved Skip Bayless. I mean, people loved this guy. For telling it like it was, from 2010 to 2012, you know, maybe a little bit past that too, but as LeBron James accomplished more individually, um, Skip started becoming a little bit more unbelievable in his criticisms, his critiques, to the point now where the other day, I think the Lakers had like 20 blocks in the game or something like that. The most blocks in the game since 2001. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the team that had the most blocks back in 2001, I can't remember that game. I think it was the Raptors. And I remember uh, looking at it, and they said it was the block party or something like that. And it was a, a Raptors game where they had like 22 blocks 
or something like that. I think that's the uh, the, the the game in 2001. I'm thinking about, but anyway, I digress. Um, it got to the point where LeBron James has ninth triple double of the season that game. It got to the point where Skip was showing like LeBron's missed shots. See, like when you when you start doing shit like that, that's the epitome of hating on somebody. Like, that's like when I see diabolical Kobe haters or diabolical Jordan haters or whatever. And let's say Kobe had, let's say the game Kobe had 81 points, right? He shot 28 or 46 from the floor, which is 61%, 62%, something like that. Exceptional percentage. But a true hater, a true diabolical hater would only show the 18 missed shots to make it appear that Kobe had a bad shooting game. Like, or, or to insinuate he was inefficient. You know what I'm saying? That's what Skip Bayless is starting to become reduced to doing, man. You know? Now, does he say things that I agree with? Yeah. I do think LeBron James stat pads. You know? I do think LeBron gets overly credited with being a great passer. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things in the media that piss me off. Um, I don't like how people will say that LeBron's this, this you know, once in a generation passer. And he was a great, he is a great passer, but most of LeBron's passes, a lot of LeBron's assists are relatively, you know, unamazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jason Kidd, a lot of his passes used to make my jaw drop because of the accuracy of the passes. You know what I'm saying? Magic Johnson, the fast break, was exceptional. Even John Stockton, who wasn't the flashiest guy, the pinpoint accuracy of some of his passes were a thing of beauty. LeBron, most of his passes are kind of basic. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I, I, I understand that. Um, I do get irritated when people say shit like, well, LeBron's got to pass Kobe and he's not even really a scorer. Well, he, apparently he must be a, a dominant scorer because he's led the NBA in scoring once. You know, but he's this is the first time he's going to lead the NBA in assists. So, I, I, you know, certain like shit like that irritates me. But I go only but so far with it. Like Skip doesn't seem to give LeBron credit for anything. He constantly brings up the same you know, failures that LeBron has had. Yes, we all know that his team was swept in 2007 by the Spurs. All right? But that was probably the best Spurs team in, in their history. And Cleveland was, I mean, come on, LeBron was 22 years old. You got to kind of give him a pass a little bit for that one, okay? 2011, yeah, that was the biggest disappointment of his career. Okay, LeBron really lost some legacy points, in my opinion, with that finals performance. All right? And LeBron, extreme LeBron fans hate when you bring that up. They hate it because they know, they know it's a it's like LeBron's, I don't want to say Watergate, but it's, it's like the biggest stain on LeBron's legacy was that 2011 final series. The other finals, they can kind of make some excuse about, you know. Or if you bring up 2014, oh, LeBron averaged 28-8-4 on 57% shooting. You know, 2015, well, LeBron was shorthanded. 2017-18, all those Warrior teams were too stacked, you know. You know, that, that, you can bring that up, you know. But the 2011 series, they don't like to really bring that up because they really can't make any excuses for that one. But Skip always always brings up the same shit and he's always comparing LeBron James to Michael Jordan. Even when he claims he don't like when people compare him to Michael Jordan. But you're always comparing to Michael Jordan. So you must feel some type of uneasiness about what LeBron's doing when you have to constantly bring LeBron down to prop up Jordan. You know what I'm saying? This is coming from the Chicago Bulls fan.
Now, in conclusion, people have often said of me that, you know, why don't I bring up Skip Bayless enough? Or more. And I've given my reasons as Shannon Sharp is there to critique Skip Bayless. Bring him in. Be the, the, point, the counterpoint to whatever point Skip's trying to make. So you have two guys on the extreme when it comes to LeBron debate to cancel each other out. So there's really no need for me. Unless one of them says something I think is just stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely stupid. Then, you know, other than that, they cancel each other out. The problem with the other guys is that oftentimes you got two fanboys on one show. Someone has to be the voice of of uh, you know, the voice of reason or the voice of dissent. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you have people like me and others on YouTube. But I do think that Skip Bayless is is starting to really I don't know, man. Like the, like one of my things is what what will Skip say if the Lakers do win a title this year? Let's say let's just say for the sake of argument that Anthony Davis wins defensive player of the year. Let's say they give the MVP award. Let's say LeBron finishes the season strong. You know, let's just say. And they finish with the best record in the, in the NBA. And they give the MVP to LeBron. That'll be his fifth MVP, which would tie Michael Jordan and Bill Russell. And let's say in the finals, LeBron wins MVP and they beat the Bucks in six or something, right? Let's say in the, in the Western Conference Series, the Lakers demolish the Clippers. I'm just... I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm just saying these are what ifs. And let's say LeBron Evans is a triple double in that series. He finally shows up. You know what I'm saying? He he, he dominates Kawhi Leonard one on one. You know everything that we've been criticizing LeBron about. Let's say he just crushes all these narratives that people like me and others have. Let's just say for the sake of argument, it happens. Do you really think the Skip Bayless will say on the strip? Will, will say on TV after the Lakers win a title with a straight face? I got to give LeBron his props. No. He's going to constantly bring up the old failures. That's a hater. See, with me and other people on here, when we're wrong, we're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Skip, on the other hand, is more worried about... He's more worried about... He's, he's, he's pig-headed, man. He's more concerned about being right than doing what's right. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I think Skip Bayless is going to be on the wrong side of history when it comes to some of this shit, man. Like, even, even the, I think the most diabolical LeBron haters know what I'm talking about. Like Skip sometimes, like, goes too far with it. Like, I mean, come on, man. Get a dog, give the guy a break. Like, damn. Does he stat pads? Yeah, LeBron step past like a motherfucker. He step past like a motherfucker. Okay? But if you're going to get on James, you know, get on LeBron James for that, get on James Harden for that. Because he step pads. He hasn't been doing this much lately, but he step past like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, that's all I got to say, man. Tell me what you guys think.